Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. That live came on really fast. I was checking out my lip gloss and I'm like, ooh, it's red. How y'all doing? I just finished the Survivor Live. If you are a Survivor fan and you missed it, please go back on the rewatch. We had a good time talking about Survivor 46, but it is time to finally, 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 finally talk about All Stars 4. <clears throat> Paramount Plus released two episodes last night, and it was, it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. All Stars 4 is it. I had a really good time watching the episode. So much to talk about. I love the way production put the episode together, like giving people cute little names on that first episode. I love the rules of the game. We're going to talk about that real quick. I love so many people coming back. Hey, oh, let me see. I can't see your name. I'm going to call you T because I don't want to mess it up. But hey, T. Um, so many of our favorites came back. More iconic, hey, Kwa, iconic moments. Like, Ayana did not disappoint. Did she work my nerve? Yes, but she did not disappoint. Like, the first two episodes, golden. Now, I do have a little bit of behind the background tea that was told to me. It's all allegedly. I'm hoping as we get more podcasts and interviews as people go home, we can get more tea of what really went down. <clears throat> I'm going to address it. <sighs> I kind of don't want to address it, but we're going to talk about it. So let's talk about it all. Y'all know that your girl ain't took no notes. So let's just start from the beginning. What I remember. Everybody show up. TJ is really excited to see Cam and Leroy, Cara, Rachel, like he was a little bit excited to see Nicole, but I, I don't know why. But, you know, everybody like who they like. <laughs> they like who they like. From the beginning, I can tell y'all right now, mark the time and the date. Nicole and Laurel are on my last ass nerve. For the life of me, I don't, like, we didn't already seen this play out over there on X on the Beach. And that was five years ago, wasn't it? We've already seen y'all be on the show together and be exes and it be uncomfortable, but y'all kissing each other's face, but Nicole's still going to go cheat behind your back. Lauro, get over it. That lady don't want you. She wants to play in your face, use you while she on these TV shows, but then she's going back to the women she wants to be with. Lauro, get over it. Give this lady your ass to kiss and move on. Because I'm I'm already tired. Yes, Nicole and Lauro are way worse than Tori and Jordan. Way worse. Way worse. And y'all know I don't even like Tori ass. I ain't supposed to be cursing. I feel like I told it in the last video. I finally figured out how to turn my monetization on. So I got to follow the YouTube rules and not curse as much. But I kind of feel like the challenge video, <laughs> the challenge videos might not just get monetized. <laughs> they they are ignore. Nicole is making you look like a fool. And girl, I just I just learned you a whole doctor out here. It ain't no way I'm a whole doctor and I got the firefighter out here making me look like a fool. I would have went Potomac real quick. It's Dr. Laurel to you. I just can't believe it. It's been some men in my life because, you know, I haven't always been married. I got married later in life. And I've been through my share of relationships where men have done me dead ass wrong. And when I see them, if I see them in the street today, you don't owe me no accountability. You don't owe me no apology. It was a relationship. If I played the fool or you just did me and made me look foolish, whatever it was, it was however many years ago and I'm over it. I don't require anybody from my past to owe me anything because I'm over it. And Laurel, I need you to get over it to the point to where when you see Nicole, it's whatever. Speak, don't speak. 
But all this tension, you need to be accountable. You need, don't just say you're sorry. You need to say, I'm sorry because I did this. Bitch, don't nobody give a fuck. See, see, this why I ain't gonna get, I ain't gonna ever get the challenge ones monetized. I ain't gonna get them monetized. I don't know how to do right. Let me get off of Laurel and Nicole. But I just wanted to state that from the beginning. Can, can we fast forward on Paramount Plus? Because they are already on my fast forward list. Now let's get to the couple that we love, Cam and Leroy. I love me some Cam and Leroy. I've said it once. I'll say it again. MTV, give them a wedding spinoff. I want to see it. I, I give them a little reality show. I love Cam and Leroy. <laughs> you said Nicole's got some kind of. She done sprinkled something. She done sprinkled something in Laurel food. I ain't going there. I ain't going there. We ain't even gonna talk about her looks. <laughs> Cause people people like what they like. I don't like women, so Nicole isn't not attractive to me, but people like who they like. Look. <laughs> I don't know what Nicole put it down on Laura. Nicole put it down on Laura because it's been a decade, girlfriend, and you still ain't over this woman. <laughs> and y'all still gonna be kissing in the lips. I'm telling y'all, when they start kissing in the lips. I'm fast forwarding because I can't take it. This is why you can't get over it, Laurel, because you keep wanting to dibble and dabble. And Angie don't go there. Angie don't go there. Angie don't go there. I ain't even about to open up that conversation. No, 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 no. All I'm gonna say is Laurel, get over it. Get over it. But Cam lets us know she had a C-section. I knew she had a C-section, but she's also breastfeeding and freezing her milk. And I remember when my sister was breastfeeding and her whole freezer would be breast milk. I'm like, who about to drink all this breast milk? But I guess babies do. And you can also donate it. Like if you ever pump too much, you can donate your breast milk for um, women who can't produce breast milk. But I don't know. I'm See, Angie, you going off on a tangent. But I'm just saying that's what Cam is out there doing. And I think that's amazing that she's out here performing and just had her baby that fast. Who else is on the show? Keefla. Keefla came on the show and did the damn thing. Now, I used to think I was a challenge ride or die. And I've watched every episode, but I ain't never seen Keefla or Flo a day in my life on the challenge. <laughs> Y'all already know how I know Keefla. He is an alumni of Alabama State University. Shout out to the Hornets. And he was the mascot when I was my freshman year. And I remember when he went off and did role rules. So that's why Keefla is, I remember him, but he's still in shape, still looking good. I'm proud of Keefla. Who else? Tony time came up. Didn't Tony win for the men or was it Adam? But Tony, you know, he got his star. Okay. Let, let's talk about the stars. Forget the people who there. We already seen them. Rachel, the mean girls are there too. Okay. That's about all he shows some love to. Let's get to how this game is going to be played. And I just want to say this. Mark, whoever you got coming up with the rules and the ideas for All Stars 4, can you let MTV hire them for a season or two? Because the way All Stars 4 rules are set up, I think this would be an amazing way to play the flagship. Is that what it's called? The flagship, the staple, MTV, the main network, whatever we want to call it. I would love for MTV to do a season where, bam, only six people running this final. I don't care if it's 40 of y'all out here. Only six people running this final. And y'all can steal stars, grab them, get it for a friend, whatever you want to do. I, I just, I love the idea of they did the whole run up the mountain with whatever they was doing, the puzzle pieces, whatever. Six people got their star. Cool. But the people that came in first place, it was Brad. Was it Brad? I think my storyboard is wrong. Does Tony have a star? <laughs> Let me show y'all my storyboard real quick. <laughs> Angie, you got to take notes. You got to do better, girl. <laughs> you got to do better. <laughs> okay, y'all, real quick. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Can y'all even see it? <clears throat> I think I put up there that Tony has a star, but I think it's Brad that has the star. 
Or does Adam not have the star? I don't know who... Are my stars correct if you can see it? Right now, you see Janelle is gone. We're going to get into Janelle. Cyrus is up here. I don't think we're going to figure out until next week who Cyrus replaces because I thought he replaced Tyree, but we all saw Tyree, you know, he got eliminated. So I know the women are correct. Tina, Rachel, Cara have stars. But I, I know Brad has a star, so I think my men are incorrect. <laughs> so just put it in the chat or in the comment section <laughs> so I can get my stuff together, girl. Girl, I'm trying to be the challenge queen. I'm trying to be Devin and Devon out here, and I ain't even got my stars correct. <laughs> a mess. I believe it was Brad and – was it Brad? I don't forgot who won it for the men. I could have I could have swore it was Brad or Tony, one of them. But anyway, Kara came in first place. And this is an individual season. 250K for the person that comes in first place. And I want to big up and shout out Kara Maria because we already know she is the only challenge champ to win an individual season. And then for Kara on another season where there's only one individual winner and to come in first place in an individual challenge, I'm like, Kara, you better win this thing. Now, Cam, I'm rooting for you, girl. Rachel, I'm rooting for you, girl. But Kara came out and was like, bitch is back. Oh, y'all, y'all thought y'all was going to hold me down. Uh-uh. Not only have I been away from the season for so long, I come back after this long hiatus and still come in first place. What Kara didn't only come in first place, she smoked everybody. It wasn't nobody close to Kara finishing that puzzle. And we already know Kara ain't good at puzzles, but she has the endurance to run up and down this hill where most people was walking and at some point, Jasmine was laid out in the middle of the ground. You know, <laughs> TJ was very proud. Yes. I, TJ was like, get it, Kara. Get up here and pull this flag. TJ was bigging up Kara, and I liked it. TJ was bigging up everybody. I think TJ just, just doesn't like Jay. I think, I don't think TJ liked many people over there on the Challenge 39, but that's over. That's over. But shout out, I just want to shout out Kara <laughs> for coming in first place. Girl, your star is in danger. <laughs> now, you can only get a star this week by winning, coming in the top six. Going forward, if you want a star, you have to go into elimination and steal someone's star. If you are a winner of a... I guess daily episode, you can volunteer to go down there and get a star. And if you already have a star and you win too, you can give it to somebody else. Now, are we really giving people stars? <laughs> like I might give one to Jasmine <laughs> or maybe even give one. Who else? Veronica could have one. You see, Tina got one. I think Tina has the most protected star out there. I think nobody touches Tina's star. Because why would you take somebody's star that you could beat? We take a Cara star. We take a Rachel star. They can't have no stars. They're going to have to win a daily and get in this elimination and win it back. Because they can't go on the final. Cara can't run the final. And now that we know at some point... Laurel, Cara, and they say Cam kind of does Cara wrong. I feel like at some point Cam went elimination and still Cara star. She was like, right, it's probably no final against you. Now you can go out there and try to get you another one, but this one mine. And I'm not mad at Cam Ford. Now I don't know if that's happened. Y'all know I don't know any spoilers. I don't want to know any spoilers. Let me say that again. Because y'all love to send me the DMs, and I like the good DMs, and I like the good tea. But I don't want to know any spoilers for Challenge All-Stars 4. I'm just guessing. I'm just hypothetical deducing. 
<laughs> reasoning. I don't know. I, I'm I don't know, but I just think Rachel, Cara, y'all stars getting ready to get snatched. Getting ready to get snatched. Do I want to hear about the controversial fight? We're going to talk about it. I got a little bit of behind the scenes tea about the controversial fight. It was not shown, but I was told the background information. Was it you, Dejan? Somebody was in my um, DMs today. Jimmy has a podcast where I believe Janelle did an interview and kind of spilled the tea. And you know Janelle has spilled the tea. So I'm going to have to go look for Jimmy's podcast probably tomorrow while I'm working. And, oh, you talking about on season 40? I don't want to know no spoilers for season 40 because it's somebody got a whole Twitter account. And every week they talking about, oh, so-and-so gone. I, I, I'd have to block them. And when whenever I see season 40 on Twitter, I get to scrolling because, oh, Gamer V, your ass too. Gamer V been out there spoiling too. Can we, can we let them people film season 40? Before y'all start telling it all. <sighs> Got upset for a second. I'm back. Okay. Who was I talking about? Oh, Cara and Rachel. They y'all, y'all stars in danger, girl. <laughs> in danger. And Rachel talking about, oh, and Tina got the easiest star. Tina ain't have to do nothing but snatch a star from um Avery. And they tried to bully poor Avery. Like, you going to vote with us or I'm coming for you. Like, girl, y'all 50 years old. Avery ain't scared. <laughs> I ain't have to say that because my ass is close. I'm closer to Rachel and Tina in them age than Avery's. <laughs> but Tina, ain't nobody scared of you. What you going to do? You going to have to win something. You stole my star, but I'm about to get it right back. <sighs> I like the Mean Girls. Look, I'm telling y'all, this season is just cast gold. It, it's so many different ways to look at this. It's so much mess and drama and mess that's getting ready to occur. Ayana is on one. Ayana is on one. I know I'm going all over the episode, but I'm just, it, it's two It's two episodes. And I'm telling you right now, episode number two, I ain't even really give a damn about, but Ayana. <laughs> In that situation, because them spinning around them Scooby Doo cars, that wasn't entertaining. <laughs> I was scrolling TikTok. I'm like, why are they spinning around these Scooby Doo cars? Anyway, <laughs> or were those old road rule cars? I don't know. I know, Glenda, you be, I don't know what people are on for season 40. It's kind of like I'm spoiling it all. Please stop. Please. I already can't look at Twitter all day on Wednesdays because they dropping these episodes at midnight. Like I really have to <laughs> eliminate Twitter on Wednesdays. Um, Let's get to the Ayana fight. Anything else happened before the Ayana situation? Cause it was all good, but it ain't really nothing to talk about. Yeah. Tina is a whole mess. <laughs> Tina is a whole mess, but I think Tina the only person that want to steal your star is Avery. Everybody else is going to come for Kara and Rachel. That's what's making it so good. Can you imagine on the main show telling scary ass Tories, the Michelles, the Jays, you know, all the scary people that just want to have 50 people in their alliance. So they ain't never got to go on elimination. And you tell them the only way you can run my final is to earn one of these stars, but you got to go in elimination to get it. And you got to <laughs> worry about people stealing it from you too. Like, I don't think these stars would ever fly on the main show. I think, you know, all the big timers who think they, all that, they, you see how fast they crush the skull twist. Uh-uh. Jamika, don't do that. Jamaica do <laughs> when Kara and them was that's how was Kara and them safe? Kara didn't know how to do math. Who else was on that team? Was it Nicole? Everybody on that team was lost. When Kara was like. It was Avery, 872 plus 8. And he was like, yeah, it's 880. 
and Avery was like, yeah, it's probably eight eight seventy nine. How did they, how were they in the safe group? I just knew Car and them group was all the way down there at the bottom. Yes, Ace. <laughs> Car, please. When you see numbers, just don't say nothing. <laughs> just let your, let your team toward it. You go over there and listen. You go over there and listen to the radio and you tell everybody else the numbers and let them twirl a little spinny thing around. <laughs> Every season, like that's that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing, Cara. I don't give a damn how long you've been out of school. You can't add 872 plus eight. I love you though, girl. I, I, I love me some Cara. <laughs> I didn't got sidetracked. I barely be on Twitter anymore one time. Yeah, Twitter spoils everything. Because how is Car going to beat Tori in a final? Tori don't know how to do any puzzles. The only puzzles Tori know how to do is the ones Jordan give her the answers to. Uh-uh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Yes, please, please. Yeah, you got to block Gamer V. Eh -eh. Just go ahead and block that whole challenge season 40 hashtag until it's time to come out because they on one. <laughs> they on one this time around. I don't blame not. And working. Oh, he's talking. <laughs> I don't care how long I spent around in, in, in old Scooby Doo car. I know what 872 plus 80 is. That's the. E <sighs> Other people posted too without the hashtag, so we can't even mute the hashtag. They do. They do. Game of V is a he. I always thought it was a lady. I guess we'll never know. But anyway, let's get to Ayana because that's that's what I really want to talk about. Well, let's get to Tyree. Tyree went into the first elimination with Steve. The hand model. Oh, y'all's getting ready to rain outside. I hear that wind is hot, is rustling and all that. So we really got, I got to talk fast because I don't want my internet to drop. It's getting ready to storm. <clears throat> Nobody knows Gamer V gender. I be assuming it's a, a lady. They could be non-binary. We don't know. And I, we're going to leave it at that. It is, it's no offense. I don't think they find any offense. I just always call her lady because her profile pic is always a lady's profile pic. But anyway, moving on, moving on, Angie, moving on. Because <laughs> I would get sidetracked real quick. I'm trying to talk about Tyree. Oh, oh, Tyree was this close to winning something. This close. They had to find 12 balls with stars on them in a pit and bring them out. Simple elimination. Tyree was smoking Steve. Like, bam, star, 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 star. He's bigger than Steve. His arms are longer than Steve. He can wrestle Steve and get all these stars. He had like a six, seven point lead. Then Steve said, oh, I got your ass. I'm about to put all the, the stars over here and you ain't going to be able to see where it's at. And one thing I said about Tyree is why don't you go over there and look? Like you see he keep coming over there, picking up a star, getting out, picking up a star, getting out, because they can only take one at a time. Like Tyree, why don't you go over there and start looking at his stars and what he got going on? But it seemed like everybody in the house, like majority was cheering for Tyree. Like they really wanted him to have this win. But it seemed like they was in that ball pit for about an hour looking for the last ball. And bam, Steve said, let me go over here and look at my stash again. And, of course, Steve had the ball and he won. <sighs> I ain't mad at Steve for winning. I really wanted to see Tyree have that win because he always just come in and in and out, in and out. TJ gave him props. I'm happy TJ said, look, this ain't even no goodbye. I'm going to see you later. We are already thinking about season five. Well, you know, they taped this two years ago. <laughs> but in TJ's mind, he was like, when we get ready to do All-Stars 5, Tyree, bring your ass back. So I hope Tyree did, does come back. I would like to see him make it at least three episodes. 
He would have made it three episodes this time because they're rotating eliminations. One week is girls, one week is guys. <sighs> I'm sorry, Tyree. You almost won it. You almost won it, but Steve got it, and Steve stole Brandon's star. I got to fix my graphic. I ain't, I ain't even going to show it no more because <laughs> I think I gave Tony a star, and Tony doesn't have one. So I think it's Adam... Steve and Brad that have stars. Shout out to Brad because you know I ain't put Brad on my fantasy team. And I I tried to look at the fantasy teams. Let me go back and look at it real quick. They're still updating the scores. They don't have our scores up. But I feel really bad because you know we pick six, but you leave two people on the bench. And I left Ayana on the bench, and I should have had her in because I know Ayana is eating up the points. Ayana. Eight the points this week. Like, oh, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, for some reason, somebody tell me in the chat, why does Ayana dislike Janelle? I know they did season two together, All Stars 2. You say Tyree leaving first is going to create that snowball effect? I don't think so. It's, it's way too many black people on All Stars 4 for them to go home back to back to back to back to back to back. It is no, it, it won't happen. Not with Cam and Leroy. It won't happen. It, I'm sorry, it was Tyree. It probably wouldn't have been Janelle if what's her name? Ayana didn't push her out the house. I don't know what Ayana has against Janelle. Now I know what the Twitter streets are saying. <clears throat> And I feel like this should be a separate conversation, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit here and we could talk about it later more in depth. Allegedly, allegedly, what the Twitter streets are saying is Ayana had some kind of beef with Janelle and Jasmine, because their husbands aren't black, I'm assuming they're white. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I'd be on this TV. I, I, I just feel like it's 2024. And people, you could feel how you want to feel. But I just feel like in 2024, are people still really tripping on interracial marriages and dating? Because, right, they said, Ayana said Janelle wasn't black enough, along with Jasmine, because their husbands are white. I don't get, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how who somebody else is married to ruffles your feathers that much. Now, this is all allegedly. I don't know if that's true. That's what the streets are saying. And I love Ayana. I know what Ayana is going through right now. So that's why I really don't want to kind of on her. Because <laughs> I love her. I really do. But I just don't understand why you would care. Is your husband black? If my husband, if I love black men and my husband is black, that's all I should care about. I shouldn't. And I, I heard that's what the big racial argument was about. Now, I don't understand how Cam and Brandon got into this. That should have been the Ayana Jasmine Janelle fight. Now, I can't understand maybe some of the other black people um, joining the conversation, giving their opinions. But I don't see why everybody is, to me, I would have let that topic go. Especially, I did tell you all, did I tell y'all, I did sign up for Cam and Leroy's Patreon. They have a Patreon. <sighs> My memory's so bad, y'all. I got to look it up so I can tell y'all. <laughs> all you got to do is type in Cam and Leroy. What's the name of their Patreon? Nah, I can't find it. It's just Cam and Lee. Cam and Lee, there's different tiers. I signed up for their biggest tier, which is $9.99 a month. 
Um, that's where you get their relationship podcast and you get all of the, the all-star four recaps. And I was listening to their pregame recap today at work and Leroy, he addressed why he came out of retirement. Cause we all know that Leroy said what he said about the racism going on in, not in production, but how production didn't protect him when Camila was, it's her name, Camila, whatever her name was. She was racist towards him. He didn't feel protection protected by production because of course she wasn't asked to go home or none of that. Leroy did state that he felt comfortable coming back to the show because everyone that comes on the show has to go through a two hour unconscious bias training. And I feel like people, especially if you are sincere with yourself and you don't have any hatred in your heart, that's a good training to go through because you don't know the kind of things your parents or some elders in your life might have instilled in you. And it could have just been the way it was, you know, the way life was where you might have a little unconscious bias in there. And once you recognize it, you might can recognize that within yourself. You're like, oh, I don't want to be like that. And it's something you can change. But anyway, Libra said everyone on the cast has to go through this unconscious bias training and that MTV and I guess Paramount Plus, the whole challenge network of it all, they now have a zero tolerance with it. Like if you do some racist, sexist, against people, religion, their sexuality, any of that, that's probably why Ashley ass ain't never coming back. It's zero, it's zero tolerance. Zero, zero tolerance. So I kind of feel like maybe this conversation, maybe nobody hit each other under the belt because I don't think anyone got kicked off the show. Though we might see next week because somebody does leave and Tyree, not on Tyree, but Cyrus does come in. We don't know yet. But um, we will see. I feel like maybe... Paramount Plus says we don't want to touch this, so we're not going to show this whole fight and this whole conversation. I could be wrong. I don't know. They ain't show the conversation. They ain't show the whole fight. We did see Ayana bully um, Janelle. Well, did she really bully Janelle? What Ayana did, <laughs> like it or not, was say I don't like this bitch and she got to go and she stirred up some lies because she did lie talking about oh she want to go get her star against Jasmine Janelle never said that she said I want to get my star I don't give a damn if you give me Jasmine Tina whoever I want to go get my star y'all think she was a bully was that really bullying I mean she just lied on the lady I gotta go back and rewatch it because, you know, sometimes when you like somebody, you don't see everything. <laughs> but all she did was lie on the lady. She just said she want to go in against Jasmine. It stirred up a lot of drama in the house because they felt like, well, we ain't just going to put her in and let her go in against Jasmine and get an easy star. Though Tina got the easiest star of all. But that's a side note. Janelle is the type of person that I can tell does not like confrontation. Um, and this little 250, it ain't worth her mental health. It ain't worth sitting up in this house arguing with Ayana. I, they mentioned it. Like, we see Ayana on the TV show. She is entertaining. Her quirkiness, all that fun dancing and just shouting out and all that. It's cute on TV, but like they said, I think Jasmine said it. It's one thing to see Ayana on TV. It's another thing to have to live in the house with her 24-7. I get it. I get it. Because that shit would get on my nerve. And I I look at look at the thumbnail of this video. I would have had to cuss Ayana out. Let's get to the deliberation of it all. Ayana sat there and they said she talked for 45 minutes straight about what I don't know because my ass started to scrolling up and down 
TikTok too, because I'm like, girl, who you voting for? And it Leroy would have been me. Girl, who you voting for? What is all this speech? Girl, Jasmine Atina, which one? Who you voting for? Ayana said, hold up, don't interrupt my speech. I could talk. And proceeded to start her speech from the beginning all over again. I would have, I would have been got up before she even voted. <laughs> the second time she started up that speech, I was like, uh-uh, I ain't sent through all this again. It, it would have been some cussing and some fussing. It, it, it would have been some language. I would have gave Paramount Plus a show. Girl, who are you voting for? We don't need to hear all of this. And then Ayana ends it by saying, I would never vote for Jasmine. I don't want to vote for Tina, but my vote is for Jasmine. Bitch, oh, you definitely get it. <laughs> it's time for show number two. What do you mean? <laughs> I would have been Leroy. I know Leroy was pissed off. Leroy was like, hold up. What you mean you would never vote for Jasmine, but you vote for Jasmine? Like, what is going on here? What did we just sit through? I know they edited. The hey, Inga. I know they edited. They, they edited the hell out of that. Because apparently this is the big fight that we heard about in the preseason. And we, I ain't even see no fight. Now, next week, we see Ayana and Jasmine going at it. So maybe we might see it next week. I don't know. I don't know. But Ayana, you did too much this week. Then you sat outside and was like, I don't even like that bitch. She can go home. Because we all know Janelle packed her bags. was like, it ain't worth it. I got to go. I got to go. I wish... I wish Janelle wouldn't have left, but I don't think Ayana would have stopped, especially if she was getting into it about her blackness. You ain't black enough. Cause I don't know. Is Janelle biracial as well? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to prejudge just cause she light skinned and got curly hair. I don't want to judge. I just, I don't think it's okay to question people's blackness. I definitely don't think you should throw people under the bus for having a non-black spouse. Who cares? So if it was a lot more going on behind the scenes that we didn't see, I'm not mad at Janelle for leaving. Like, if it was just if it was just a lie about oh Janelle says she wanted to get her star against Jasmine. Yeah, girl, toughen that out, cuss her ass out, and move on. Get your star and, and um, sit down. But if it was all that going on in the background, yeah, girl, go ahead and pack your bags and go home. It's it's not worth it. it it's, it's not worth it. What y'all say in the comments? Ayana is not okay, then proceeds to tell Leroy to I put that on Twitter. Thank you for reminding me. I put that on Twitter because Leroy asked her, what you mean you would never vote for Jasmine, but you vote for Jasmine? And Ayana, with a straight, clear, rational face says, Leroy, I would prefer to table, it, table this and we can have a conversation one-on-one -on -one because I think we should just move on. You know, other people have to vote. I know Leroy wants to cuss her out, but Leroy knows as a man, you know, you can't, you can't talk to women any kind of way. Cause then not Cam got to jump in it. That's probably why Cam jumped in. <laughs> Cause she was like, you ain't going to be just talking about me. Look, I get it. I wish they would have showed it all. I wish they would have showed it all. That, that was heavily edited, <laughs> but I don't know. Ayana, I only know her from my television screen, but Episode two was too much. <laughs> Ayana, you did too much. My 411 sounds like she was the female turbo. Did Turbo ever does Turbo go on rants like that? I don't know. And y'all know I love Turbo. Do I got a thing with loving people who not all there? <laughs> I don't want to say I don't want to say anything hurtful, but I do like Turbo too. 
her voting for Jasmine, she's not okay. Look, it didn't make any sense. And, and you, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what was the only one, maybe two people hadn't voted yet? Tina was going in. The votes were so lopsided. Tina was going into elimination, period. So Ayana doing all that talking, voting for Jasmine, all of that was for nothing. The votes were already up there for Tina to go in. Even if everybody else would have voted for Jasmine, Tina still had more than enough votes to go in. So it, it was just too much. Now, I have not watched Leroy's podcast. I'll, I'll watch it tomorrow. I did say, you know, I told you I, I got the Patreon. I want to listen to Jimmy's interview and Leroy and Cam's recap, and I may come back and talk about any new tea I heard from those interviews. And Leroy said he will rather watch. <laughs> he said, I'd rather watch paint dry. He said, I'd rather put toothpicks underneath my toenails and kick a concrete wall then listen to Ayana again. Look, Ayana going home soon. Matter of fact, let me go ahead now that I'm looking at my fantasy team. Let me go ahead and swap Ayana out after next week because I feel like Ayana is going home soon. <laughs> she about to get me a couple of good argument points, but Ayana is going home. They tired of her. They going to vote her in every time she's able to be voted in. And let me say this too, Leroy. I was disappointed you, you was in the bottom two episode one. I know puzzles ain't your thing, Leroy, but this wasn't even no real puzzle. All you had to do was put the little pegs in the hole and run up and down the hill. You should not have been in the bottom two. Cam should not have been out there telling people, look, don't vote for my man. You shouldn't have even been up for a vote, Leroy. Get it together. I'd have put you on my fantasy team and you coming in last place. You not giving me no points for all that, Leroy. <sighs> Leroy and Cam were so shady in those confessionals, but I wasn't mad at them. I don't have to look. I come from a family of talkers, and by me sitting on this YouTube talking for hours as well, you know I I come from a family of talkers. <laughs> there have been plenty of times, Mom, I love you. <laughs> Where my mother can go on a 45 to 55 to two hour long rant of talking. And I could be on the phone like, I'm telling you, on the phone like this for 45 minutes and, and not say a word. And not say a word. So I get it. The other day, I don't know where I was. I think I had walked into the bank or something. I was like, Mom, I got to go. Because the lady was sitting up there trying to ask me what I need help with. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, Mom, I got to go. <laughs> and she's like, oh. I'm like, please don't be a gas. Don't be upset. But I got to go. Like, she was already talking for 30 minutes. Look, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Though my mama usually be spilling some good tea. But anyway, let me get off my mama for she watch this one day and be mad I'm talking about her. <laughs> Where are my comments? Okay. This is not like the old days where they used to show us everything, right? We, we're never going to see that fight. We're going to see what... We're going to see what Ayana and Jasmine talking about next week. But I really hope it's not about they, the color of their husbands because... Ayana, I can't ride with you for that one. I, I, I can't have your back on that one. Ayana will not last. She's going to get kicked out very soon. She might just get kicked out. I don't know. I don't know. Leroy and Cam's podcast is on Patreon. It's Cam and Lee. It's just called Cam and Lee. And they have different tiers. I think they start with like a $3, a $5, and a $9. And I just paid the $9 one because... The $9 one is the one that gets you access to the recaps to the episodes. So if you don't, if it ain't no point in getting the two or the $3, the cheaper ones, because you're not going to get the recaps. I was mad at Leroy too coming in last place, sitting down there with the losers. Not getting me any fantasy points. Leroy, your ass might go on the bench next week. When he said I came out of retirement for this It'll make you want to go back home, Leroy. 
He said, here we are calling him a winner pick. And he's right. Right. We was all on the fantasy party saying Leroy is winning this thing. And he is down there. Your, your girl who done had a C-section, pumping breast milk, everything is up here fighting for your life in the game. And you down there losing. Leroy, you better get it together. Leroy coming in last is proving that he is the male nanny. Deshaun, you ain't going to let that go. I ain't calling him the male nanny. It was only episode one. Let's see Charles about to say something shady. <laughs> Leroy legacy is losing. Let's not act like that's going to change. That's not true. That's not true. He has done many of finals. I, Leroy could win this. We're going we gonna to say Leroy could win. I'm, I got hope in him. But on All Stars, he is one of the best. I think his competition, let me look at my picture again. I don't know because Keefla is up here playing the game. And Keefla is, I know he's, if I was a freshman and he was a senior, so he has to be at least four years older than me. And Keefla is up here doing the damn thing. Brandon is good competition. I already said Tony, Brad then came in first place with Cara. Leroy got a lot of competition and he better get it together. He better get it together. Not Tyrese. <laughs> Tyree Inga. I was rooting for Tyree. I don't know why he couldn't get it done. Like, I wasn't rooting for Tyree. Like I expected Tyree to go home first or second. Deja Leroy, he has a lot of, I don't know what that means, Charles. <laughs> the women are better than Leroy. Oh, Lord. Charles is being shady. <laughs> we love Leroy over here. <laughs> what delusional juice like we drinking? <laughs> I ain't even had a drink yet. <sighs> I'm about to go downstairs and make me one. What time is it? <laughs> I'm about to go make me some crown, peach, and lemonade. Keefla is 49. That's right. He's four years older than me. Yep. He's 51. I think he's probably closer to 49. Flora, who I did not know as well. Where's her picture? Flora ain't even on this. Oh, there she go. Flora is the one who's 51, and I think she's the oldest one there. So... Oh, he said he was 51. Well, damn, Keefla. <laughs> oh, look, I ain't going to say nothing. Because back in the day, my school, not anymore. Not anymore, I hope. But back in the day, Alabama State was known for the party school. And it was rare to find people that graduated in those four years. <laughs> Most people took about five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I ain't even going to say how many years it took me. It's a shame. It's a shame. I don't like to say because I don't want to. <laughs> I want my son to think he could be down there at Tennessee State that long. No, sir. I'm not paying for all that. But Alabama State was known for being a party school, so he probably could have been older than that his senior year. Yeah, Flora said she was 51. I didn't know. Okay, Keefa is 49. Who cares? Who cares? He then came in, what, third place? He came in third place. Keefa is doing the damn thing. It's going to be hard getting Keefa out. I, I'm, I'm looking forward. Ugh, I'm so looking forward to this season. Y'all, I'm about to wind this up, but I'm telling y'all again, at, I said it at the beginning and I'm saying it at the end. I'm looking forward to this season, but not Laurel and Nicole. Not Laurel, not Nicole. I was mad when Tina, Leroy, Veronica were in the bottom and Laurel took the last spot of being safe. Well, it really ain't matter because it, was, it wasn't a girl's day. So after the top three girls, we ain't care. But I expected Tina and Veronica to be down there. Who was the third girl? Jasmine. I forgot. Jasmine. It was Tina, Veronica, Jasmine. Because it had to be four. Was it Flora? It ain't matter. The girls was safe. You a five-year undergrad, Charles. You beat me. 
I was in school so long. My younger sister graduated before me. And if you know how many years older I am than my younger sister, you would know how that's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. But anyway, I finished. I did finish. Keefla did so good. I'm so happy for him. I'm happy for Keefla and Brandon. I'm mad Brandon got his star stolen, but oh well. I transferred too. <laughs> I don't like Nicole either. Did you notice how when Kara and Nicole got into a fight, Laurel stopped Nicole? She loved, we all know Laurel loved, still loved that woman, but I, I don't want to see it. Because it's a damn shame that you done broke up with this woman. She done broke your heart 10 years ago, but you still lusting and loving her. Like, Laurel, please move on. Please move on. And I'm going to end that there because that's how I opened the video. And that's how I'm going to end the video. You all, we're going to have a great time this season. I'm so happy it's just starting. <clears throat> so please come back for the reviews. Please like this video. Please support the channel. Um, share the content, subscribe if you're new. I would appreciate it. I just turned my monetization on. I'm so excited. So I'm really pushing my videos now to get the views up. <sighs> and I feel like I just talked two hours in a row. So my voice is a little bit hoarse. I'm about to go sit down somewhere and be quiet. No, I'm not. I got to finish tax returns. I'm about to finish tax returns. I'm so happy April 15th is Monday. So happy. Um, you all have a safe weekend. I will not be back. I'm not doing a video tomorrow night. I will be on the Drag Race panel Saturday. <clears throat> uh, I don't know whose channel it is, but you know, I will share it so you all will know. And then I probably won't be back until... Probably the next weekend because I'm going out of town next week. So please be patient with your girl. I will be reviewing the reviews for next week. will just be a little bit late, but they will be there. We will still have a good time. With all that being said, thank you all so much for your support. I will holler at y'all later. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.